You surprised me. I'm glad to see you. I would have hoped they would have sent more than just one guy, though. I've been studying one of the specimens we brought back, to see if there's something physiological that would be a weakness. 
a way to stop them. I found nothing so far. Haven't had enough time. I'm gonna stay here and keep looking. It's the only thing I can do. There are combat supplies in the storage cabinet in the next room. The code is 624. I hope you can use it. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests
a relic codenamed U1, or simply Sword. Located in a geographic region where UAC researchers have unearthed evidence of a long-lost civilization. We know nothing of this civilization other than they existed, and that they were all wiped out in some... I have the soul cube in hell, and you will from never stone tablets find found throughout the ruins. What clues we have been able to piece together reveal a culturally advanced society whose technology can only be described as mystic, as evidenced by you one strange characteristic. Efforts that the
Access granted. This is the personal audio log of Dr. Frank Serrano, dated September 19th, 2145. I've been brainstorming on Petruger's thoughts about achieving sustained, uninterrupted transfers for the teleportation units. Currently, our systems can only build enough of a charge to have the portals open for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. It's enough time to get a team, but not enough time to send in some of the heavier equipment. Engineering in the in pro facility can theoretically boost the active portal time to 45 seconds left. But this will require a rather powerful central processing, and we just can't afford the real time. We're sucking power from three veins in Inpro just to power chamber one. I have no idea how we can sustain transfers for longer than 60 seconds without giving serious thought to reorganizing the teleport power grid. I'll sleep on this. This is Dr. Frank Serrano signing off. Decontamination chamber sequence initiated. This is the audio log of Administrative Assistant Han Lee, dated October 16, 2145. Why is it that I keep getting the front job? Armor Corps, first platoon, first science team were completely wiped out this morning on a system excursion. Have a nice I am day. in charge with writing the reports and sending this information back to her. So here I am. First cup of coffee for the day. Five hours of sleep tonight, no shower, and I have 20 dead bodies to fill out paperwork on. I haven't seen the actual corpses, but word coming down from the grapevine says that it looks like they've been packed up pretty good. This is everyone on the base spooked. Trooper is nowhere to be found. There are a lot of questions being asked. Suiting the next Sounds like they are taking any chances on this next trip without
Please select teleport destination. Pad 2 selected. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. My patience with you is wearing. <laughs>
Please select teleport destination. Pad 3 selected. Decontamination chamber sequence initiated.
decontamination process started. Primary system failure. System shut down. Backup systems online. Stop him! Selected. This is the audio log of Dr. Martin Schultz, dated August 7, 2145. We need to amend the operating procedures to ensure that all target teleport markers are properly set and locked before engaging the systems. We had a tragic accident today in Chamber 1 that led to the death of Susan, one of our female chimps. She stepped onto the platform during the calibration phase, and an electrical short gave the system and literally split her in two. Her torso appeared at the destination marker, while her lower extremities remained in place on the source pad. I'm not sure how we've gone this long without this problem appearing sooner, but it seems like we've had nothing but difficulties getting these systems to work. I don't know where Petruger finds the energy. He's been busy slaving away in the labs for 16 hours a day trying to debug these latest problems. What's he trying to do? Make the rest of his working sets look bad? Regardless, we have our work cut out for us over the next couple of days, going over all the system's logs to see exactly what went wrong with this round of tests. Dr. Martin Schultz signing off, hoping to report better news next time. Selected. Decontamination chamber sequence initiated. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Have a nice
Pad 2 selected. Decontamination process started. Decontamination complete. Selected. Selected. Making progress, Marine? Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul will be mine. <laughs> Never find the thing you seek. It is trapped in hell forever. 